So I was making the final panels for that scooter and I thought, you know, I really haven't covered this. We did the thing where we did the metal panel beating uh, and we made so all the structural panels with that. The kind of things you're going to get a kick, the kind of things we need to hang stuff on. But of course there's quite a lot of the panels are pretty much just decorative actually. They give it a bit of shape, a bit of form and they make it look nice. Uh, and there's kind of a huge question I think about how those panels are actually made. Now I've been making those panels out of this stuff, it's Stormlight. It is in fact a PVC board that's used as um, decoration. These massive sheets actually are available for I think the 28 pounds a sheet and they're something like four meters long by uh, 1.2 meters wide because they're meant to be put on as panels and you want a nice clean area so they're really really huge for that amount of money so you get a lot of material out of it. Now what I do is offer up bits of card, so I get a little bit of card and match it up and I draw around it, do some measurements, get the basic shape of what it is that I want and kind of make, try to make sure it fits and then cut it from this. Now this stuff glues with super glue incredibly strongly. It's actually stronger than the original plastic, the glue joint. So this is actually the panel for the top of the instrument cluster uh, and it's got, it won't bend all the way but it will give a nice bend to it as well, a nice smooth curve. So it's a little boxy around here at the moment because I obviously haven't finished it. So what I'll do with this is offer it up and see what the fit is like. So here it is offered up to the instrument cluster and I'm just holding it on because my plan is to put a couple of screws in there once this is made. As you can see it's got quite a nice fit and it generally does what the job that I want it to do. But obviously we've got this slight boxiness still going on here but we can take care of that actually with body filler. So body filler and a liberal amount of sanding will round off and give these much more of an organic curve than they have currently got. So that's what I'll be doing with it once it's actually affixed and I've got the general shape that I'm looking for. Body filler, sanding and you get the curves that you want. So here it is with its first stage of filler in and you can see that I bothered to follow the line of that fairing there to create this fairing here. And it's those sort of little tricks that makes the fairing look like it belongs. Now if you're worried about the softness of this or whether it's going to be durable enough, it'll actually be fine, but if you really worry about it then you could put some fiberglass tissue over that and then fiberglass it and obviously finish it, in which case you'll get a really nice strong form. Me, I'm just going to leave it like this because it'll be plenty strong enough for what I'm doing. And obviously what we're really interested in is the look and a few curves. So we've got a nice curve here and then we're following the line of the fairing there. And that's the panel painted and sanded and put in place. So that's how I've been making the plastic panels. Now with this one, which is basically just an instrument cover, it's going to really suffer no real damage. And so straightforward doing like that works just fine. With these ones, where you're going to expect a little bit of impact, you need to take a little bit more care. So um, good idea to cover these in uh, glass fibre. Now you get glass fibre in all kinds of grades. The tissue does a nice job because you put the tissue on and then a light sand over it gives this beautiful finish and then obviously paint it. That stuff doesn't stick particularly well to um, these resins. Now that's both a good and a bad thing. In one sense it's um, bad because it can part. In another, once you've actually built the form, laid, off the, laid on the fiberglass and you peel that back off, you'll actually get a fiberglass shell that you can work with. If you don't want it to peel off, just wrap the fiberglass around the edges and it'll just be Jim Dandy actually, and that's what I did. So wrapping a bit of fiberglass around the edges, edges holds the whole thing together. Then you lightly sand over and finish it off. But like I say, with the instrument panel cover, there's no real need to do that. It's not going to get much in the way of abuse, and so I didn't bother doing it. But I did do it with these ones. Anyway, I thought I would share how to make the actual formed panels with you, because obviously um, beating them out of metal would be quite a job. But forming them with a preformed board, a bit of body filler, and then some fiberglass over that works really, really well, actually. So... I hope you enjoyed the video. I wasn't going to do the panels, but I thought I'd miss the whole section out, actually. Now, I think I'm failing to capture steampunk, but I think I'm doing really well in a Wallace and Gromit look, so I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, finish off the electrics and then get this on the road. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.